Hello, everyone. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all doing good. You know, just staying safe and just staying alive. So, I'm particularly happy because of this topic. Because it's topics like this that really got me excited. That really... It's topics like this that made me want to start a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Because it's a big deal in the media right now. It's a big deal all over social media. Everybody's giving their opinions on it. Everyone is giving their two cents on it. And I'm like, man, let me let me throw my two cents in there too, man. You know what I mean? And I already know it's going to upset some people. But it, it, it has to be said. And I'm going to be objective on as much as I can. Okay? So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I welcome you with open arms, you know, sit back, relax, and enjoy the content. Anyone who comes across my channel, anyone who comes across my videos, help me out and hit that four-point play for me, okay? The first part of the play is leaving a like, just simply tapping on that like button, simply tapping on that, just simply tapping on that thumbs up button, man. It goes a very long way. It helps the process. It helps the, you know, it helps the journey go along faster, man. I really appreciate it. It lets me know that there's people who like. <laughs> my content enough to you know just continuously support me i really appreciate that okay the next part of the play leave in a comment comment question anything you want to leave down below just simply leave it in the comment section man as it relates to the video i'm genuinely curious <laughs> about the comments that people have on this topic that i'm about to talk about i mean i already saw a lot of it on facebook on instagram you know on black twitter and whatnot but i'm curious what people have to say about this because it's a big deal. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy about a topic like this because it's so big everywhere right now, and I'm getting my two cents out there too. Okay, next part of the play. Clicking on the subscribe button. Clicking on button. You could join the gang. Could join the process. A slow gang. This, the, this is a slow grind. You no know, slow process. When you click on the subscribe button, you join it. You'll help me out. You'll you let the process go along faster. Okay, the last part of the play is <laughs> clicking on the notification bell. Clicking on bell. You'll join the notification gang. You know, you'll be first in my comment section, okay? Now, I'm not gonna lie. It's it, like, I know I said it before, but it's topics like this that really get me excited, that really got me started on this social commentary YouTube journey. You know what I mean? Because I already know it's mixed feelings, mixed reactions. It's like people keep the same energy. It's It, get, it, it has a lot of people up in arms. And I love it because <laughs> I understand why it has people up in arms. I, f I genuinely understand why this is a big deal. And I'm glad I'm talking about it, okay? So her name is Shakari Richardson. And she's been making waves, rightfully so, in the track and field sport, you know, the, tra <laughs> the track and field industry. And rightfully so, like I said, because what she does in track and field should be respected. It should be credited and no one should should try to discredit her okay i know people will try to because you know racist people they don't like to see black people um doing great and excelling in anything but there shall be no discrediting of her in her sport in the comment section and there shouldn't be i understand there will be because you know like i said there's people who will never try to give black people credit for whatever they do but in my comment section please we're not going to discredit her she's great now, with all of that out of the way, I, I just wanted to set it up properly for her, give her her credit, give her her roses, give her her respect. With all of that said, she tested positive for marijuana, and she's been suspended for a month, and now she's doubtful to appear in the, to appear in the Tokyo, and it's been up and down all over social media. <laughs> rightfully so and i'm like okay let me let me say what i gotta say okay let me get my opinion out of the way first shikari richardson knows the rules okay i'm pretty sure she's been told the rules so much times that it's like she knows the rule book like the back of her hand okay now with that being said it's just weed i know and i know that's what most people said that's defending her which i understand i um, look, I'm not mad at you for that, but you know the rules, man. This is not like a regular workplace. This is the Olympics. <laughs> this is international shit. Like this is not, 
you know, the McDonald's on the corner. Okay, I'm just using McDonald's as an example. Please don't be upset by that. I'm just saying. Now, if this was McDonald's, you know, and your manager caught you doing that, they'll probably sit you down and be like, okay, well, I understand. I'll place you on a, you know, weak suspension or some shit like that just so that you can understand you violated the rules and blah, 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 and that's it. You come back. This is not that. This is a grand scale. The Olympics is international shit. This is billions of dollars <laughs> across multiple nations and shit like that. You know what I mean? So she's going to be looked at differently. You 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 qualify for the Olympics. You're not just a regular track and field runner in high school or middle school or whatever. It's, you're not that anymore. And that has to be said. You're looked at much more highly now. You broke so much what like you broke so much records or whatever you broke social media everyone is so proud of you you're black excellence you're gonna be held to that standard and now with you being held to that standard you're gonna be looked at and scrutinized a lot more just because of that that's just a byproduct of you being great or you being considered great okay and like i said this is not mcdonald's across the street you know this is not just a regular job these are the Olympics, <laughs> internet like a grand stage. Yes, it is just weed. Weed is pretty much legal every damn where, but it's not legal for the Olympics. You get caught smoking weed or whatever, you're gonna be punished for it. You're gonna be penalized for it. I know the main argument of people that agree or support her is that oh, it's just weed. It's not crack or cocaine or whatever, but it's still a part of the rules. Would crack, if she was doing crack, would that have been any better? That's my question for those people. Would, would that have been any better? And now this this is where it comes to the human side of it. Let, like, let's just bring this story down a notch, okay? Let's just say you was a manager and you had Shikari, like she worked for you or something like that. This is just bringing it down a notch while still relating to the Olympics, okay? You violated the rules. This is how you have to approach it you violated the rules you knew the rules beforehand and you violated it now i do understand and this is what a human side of it, i do understand your mom just passed away i'm sorry my condolences and all of that but you still violated the rules and guess what and this is where it comes into play a lot of other industries could come into play i let you violate the rules Sh shikari as great as you are who's to say other people are not going to try to do the same and guess what that's going to cause? Lawsuits. Oh, but you let Shikari do it. How come I can't do it? And we've seen this at the... You've seen this at your job, right? You let this person come in late all the time. Why can't I come in late? I mean, or why I come in late is a problem. It could cause a lot of problems if they let Shikari do this. And they still allow her to play in the Olympics like it's nothing. It could cause a, a, a whole lot of issues. And then that would bring up separate other interesting topics of like, well, how come they land her play? And they didn't let this other person play when he was smoking weed before. All of that, see, all of those different olive branches could come into play. Now the human side of it is, okay, you sit her down in private, you sit her down in public, like, okay, I'm sorry I have to do this, but I just have to, it's the rules, okay? I know you. I'm like this person. Whoever decided to make that call is gonna get flack for it. The Olympics is gonna get flack for it. Whatever they they they're not gonna care. I'm sorry, these are the rules. I have to abide by the rules because if I let you get away with it, in the future some other person is gonna do it, and Shikari is gonna be the poster child of someone who did drugs or smoked weed and st was still allowed in the Olympics with no punishment. You know, can't happen. And that's where it's unfortunate. That's where it's like a double-edged sword. Because it's like the human, like I said, the human side of it, it's just a little weird, of course. It's, you know, her coping mechanism because her mother just passed away. But on the other hand of it, it's, you still violated the rules. Now, if it wasn't illegal in, in for the Olympics or whatever, then who cares? This wouldn't even have been a story. But it is. And she obviously violated it anyway. You know, you got to sit her down and let her know. It's not that I purposely want to do this. It's just that I have to. Okay? Now, I, I just have to mention this, okay? I feel like if they didn't suspend her, it would be a bigger deal. This would be a bigger story.
Because then it's like, wait, hold on. Now, I'm not too in tune with the Olympics and whatnot, but imagine all the other Olympic athletes who qualified but got caught smoking weed or doing whatever, and they didn't they didn't allow them in to play. What's the exception for her? This is where the objectivity has to come in. I know she's black essence. I know all the other black people out there want her to play, and they like, oh, it's just a little bit of weed. I, I get it. I understand that. But why is she the exception? I know that's going to upset some people, but why does she get to be the exception? That's the question that has to be asked. <laughs> Seriously, why is she, is she the exception to it? You know what I mean? If you let one person do it, you got to let other people do it. And then that's going to bring up a whole other domino effect. All these Olympic athletes want to start smoking weed now. See what you cause? See what you cause? If you let one person do it, you let one person get away with it. That's all I got to say about this. Sorry, Shikari. I'm sorry, but we got to This is just a formality. This, this is just what has to happen. You pro she probably still will end up in the Olympics, but you have to be punished for it. So let me know what y'all think. Down in the comment section, agree, disagree with what I said. I understand people is going to be upset, but just look at it objectively and you'll understand why. Okay, thank you. More videos coming soon.